Hello everyone, I am Shahan Laik and we are in the middle of the clinical anatomy series where we discuss the clinical portion of anatomy. So today we will discuss about acute appendicitis. So what is appendicitis? Appendicitis, itis means inflammation. So it is the inflammation of appendix. And we have a point, everyone knows that, McBurney's point, McBurney's point. So in McBurney's point, it is a point where we feel the pain in appendicitis, okay? Uh, next, come here. We will learn some important terminology for associated with appendicitis. First is Murphy's triad. So what is Murphy's triad? Triad means three signs together. So Murphy has a triad. What is the triad? One is migratory pain. The pain is migrating. That pain goes from one place to another. Migratory pain. Vomiting. Vomiting. The person will vomit and fever. So these three, migratory pain, vomiting and fever is known as Murphy's triad. Next is Bloomberg sign. So what is Bloomberg sign? Bloomberg sign means rebound tenderness. So what is Bloomberg? So I'm giving an example. Suppose there is the appendix and you just pressing the point you will not feel pain but when you are releasing the uh, finger you feel the pain so this is rebound pain that is called bloomberg sign bloomberg sign rebound pain bloomberg sign next is rope sing sign rope sing sign this is also very interesting rope sing sign rope sing sign you get you can uh, press on the left left in uh, left uh, LIC, left uh, iliac fossa, left iliac fossa, but you will feel the pain, sorry, left iliac fossa here, and you will feel the pain here on the right iliac fossa. Why? You are pressing here on the left, but you are getting pain on the right, because the bowel will be moved. As you are pressing here, the bowel will be moved, and as you have appendicitis, you will get pain. That is called robe seeing sign, movement of the bowel. You are pressing on the left, iliac fossa, LIC, LIF, but you will get pain on RIF. Next is serene triangle of hyperesthesia. See serene triangle. This is the triangle of serene. Serene triangle. You have umbilicus here and you have ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine. ASIS means anterior superior iliac spine here and pubic symphysis here. So you get a triangle that is known as serene triangle. Serene triangle. Okay. This triangle is formed by ASIS, umbilicus, and pubic symphysis. So, next is the Dunphy sign. Dunphy. You got Murphy. Now, another guy come. His name is Dunphy. Dunphy means coughing. Coughing. When you get cough, you get cough, you get pain on the right iliac fossa. So, you get pain here. When you are coughing, you get Dunphy sign. Next is Ten Horn sign. Ten Horn sign. This is the traction of the right testicle. So when you apply the testicle, traction, traction of the testicle. So T for traction, T for right testicles and you T for ten horn sign. Remember this. Next is Cope's psoas sign. Cope's psoas sign. This occurs when there is irritation of the psoas sign means psoas major muscle. So irritation of the psoas major muscle. When this occurs? When you are extending your hip. So, extension of the hip will produce a sign, so cope soa sign. Next is cope's obturator sign. This occurs when the obturator, you have, suppose these are the two legs here in portion in the medial side of the hip, you have obturator muscles. So, these obturator muscles, there is the pain. So, cope's uh, obturator, uh, sorry, um, because of the stretching of the obturator muscle, you get pain. How this stretching occurs? Because of the internal rotation of hip. When you are internally rotating the hip, internally rotating, then you get Cope's obturator sign. So remember all these signs which I told you. Thank you for listening and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed this channel yet.